I'm Charlie Bazina. Today we'll be talking about home security. I'll be identifying things you should and shouldn't do around your home to make it more secure. Let's get started. Here we are at a typical suburban home. This home gives me some concerns. As you can see, no fence, which gives a person easy access to walk into the home. The open garage door, again, easy access for someone to walk into. You've got the open windows and the open blinds, which gives, again, people someone to look in and see what's going on inside. And also on this side of the house, you can see the shrubbery that covers the windows and the side entrance. Again, a lot of cover for a burglar to spend as much time as he likes to uh, do what he needs to do to enter the home. Now I'm at the side of this particular house. What I've identified is a couple of features that would enhance the security of this particular home. A CCTV camera would be ideal in this location. It's a blind spot and a CCTV camera would give you that coverage. Also, a sensor light would come on and alert anyone inside that someone was out here. I like the high fences, but my biggest concern is the fact that the garage door is open, which gives these offenders a thoroughfare. Don't make it easy for these offenders to go about their business. Make it as hard as possible, leave doors locked and padlocked. Now that I'm in the rear yard, what I do like is the fact of the high fences. It restricts entry by the burglars coming in. But having the high fences also gives the burglar cover. The way around that is to install CCTV cameras and sensor lights. Also the fact that there is no tools, no ladders to assist the burglars to gain entry into your home. Now we're in the living area of this particular home. This is a prime target area for the burglar. Let's look at firstly the firewire screen door. Good to keep flies out but not burglars. Don't rely on this particular door when you go to sleep over night time. Have a more secure door. Also, have an alarm system installed with sensors. Like my home, I've got a CCTV camera because this is an area that the burglars will target because this is where your TV set is and your audio equipment. In the hallway of this particular home, I'm happy with the configuration of this window. The fact that it's wind out, we've got an additional lock. The fact that the blind is up is a bit concerning. The blind should be down, doesn't have to be closed, to limit any vision inside the home. More so at night time also, but during the day, don't be complacent. This is the area that a burglar is going to target. Make it hard for them, they're going to have to break this window to get entry because of the additional locks. Now at the front entrance of the home is always a vulnerable area. I like the fact that there's a key lock because that's going to resist anyone breaking the window to put their hand in to allow entry. So always a good idea to have a key lock. The eye lets you see who's on the outside, but you will also consider an intercom system. CCTV cameras on the inside and on the outside would be also great, coupled with an alarm system. Well there you have it. There's a number of improvements that need to be made to this home before I will consider it secure. I hope you've learned something from our visit here today. I'm Charlie Bazina and I'll catch you next time.